August 27th, Uncle Nigel is no longer able to talk. Even if he could construct a sentence no one could understand, he would be unable to say it as he'd managed to burn his lips so badly they'd gone black and shriveled up. What was left of his hair has fallen out and his new skin has shrunk and torn so you can actually see areas of his skull. I think he's also gone blind in one eye. The hotel manager, Mr Jensen, has banned him from the beach. As the other guests have finally complained, Mr Jensen had a meeting with my aunt and me. He said that in his opinion, my uncle shouldn't be sunbathing anymore. Forgive me, Mrs Howard, but I think this is a very unhealthy situation. I've tried to stop him, Mr Jensen. This morning I even locked him in the bathroom, but he managed to force the window and climb down the drain pipe. Perhaps we should call for the doctor. I'm sure that's not necessary. She said she'd been trying to stop him, but I'm not sure that's true. She was still rubbing oil into him every morning and evening. I'd seen her, but I didn't say anything. I'm beginning to feel very uneasy about all this. August 28th. Yesterday evening, Uncle Nigel ran away. He had another argument with Aunt Sarah. I heard vague muffled shouts, then the slamming of the door. When I looked out the window, the sun was just beginning to set. I saw him race out of the hotel, staggering towards the beach. He'd hardly stand up straight. He was wearing shorts and nothing else. He was completely unrecognisable. He had no skin at all. His eyes bulged out of his skull and his lips shrunk back to reveal not just his teeth, but his gums. Every step he took, he moaned. At one point, he staggered and fell back against the hotel wall. One of the guests saw him and actually screamed. This morning, he was gone but he had left a bloody imprint of himself on the wall. August 30th. I can't help but feel that Aunt Sarah is completely different. There's been no news of Uncle Nigel. He hasn't been seen for two days, but she hasn't been worried. She's been drinking a lot of rum. Last night she got drunk and ended up dancing with one of the waiters. I can't wait to get home. I spoke to Mum this morning. It seems I have a baby sister. They're going to call her Lucy. Mum asked me about the holiday. I told her about the island and about the family I met, but I decided not to say anything about Uncle Nigel. 